Hey guys, it's Cracker Jack here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to know what's coming after you in Roblox Pressure without having to wait for any noise cues or anything like that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you'll want to do guys is you'll want to click J on your keyboard. This will bring up the settings menu and you'll want to go to accessibility options and turn on deaf mode. Now what deaf mode basically does is it shows you some audio cues or some things on your screen that'll let you know what's coming. But honestly, this mode by itself is not very helpful because as soon as the entities start moving towards you, well, it's already too late, especially in a locker list run. Now, after you turn this up, what you're going to do after is you're going to click escape. And then on the top of your keyboard, you should see a button called F9. And this will bring up the developer console. Now, basically what this is, is it shows you what's happening around in, in the game you're in. But what's most important is what you're going to do here. So what you're going to do first is you're going to turn warning and error off. And this will get rid of some useless information that you don't need to look at. And now what you'll want to do is just move it over to the side over here until it's just showing right here on this white text here on loaded. Then you'll click escape. And you'll just start your runoff as normal. So what you'll do is you'll just go to the key card reader and you'll just start normal until you find your first entity, which is around door six through eight. So around somewhere there. I'll talk to you guys when we get there. So here we are, guys. Our first monster is coming over. So we're just gonna get right next to the locker here, and we'll give it a second. Let the monster get through. There we go. So as you can see here, this is the aura for death mode. It's not very useful in my opinion. Okay guys, so once you get your first encounter with your first entity, what you'll want to do is once again click escape, click F9, bring up the console, and what you'll want to do is try and drag the developer console over. And in this search bar right here, you're going to type in zero point and click enter. You can move it back over here, and this time click resume. Now what this is going to do is it's going to show you three coordinates, and depending on the coordinates of the numbers, it will determine which entity will be coming at you. So once lights start flickering, that number will appear. So I'm going to zoom in here. As you can see, you can see the 0 0.666667. That will always mean an angler that's coming from your back. And on screen now, I'm going to put up a list of the different numbers that can happen. And while that's happening, we're going to actually keep going and trying to get different entities to spawn and sort of match the numbers up. So once we find another entity, guys, I'll cut right back to you and I'll show you what happens. So as you can see, guys, you can see right there a number just instantly appeared as soon as the flickering happened. So 0 0.67 means that it's a front angler, meaning it's going to come right through on by. So as you can see there, that's another example of what happened. Front angler came because of that number based off of the numbers from before. And I'll try and get one more entity in before I end the video. Maybe we'll get a different one. Oh, there you go, guys. As you can see in the console, you can see a number, 0 0.83. That refers to Pinky. And I'll be able to instantly tell, oh, 0 0.83, that's Pinky. So that means I have to hide somewhere. And as you can see, that's probably one of the best examples you can get, especially considering Pinky is one of the quieter ones. But with that being said, guys, hopefully you can trust the numbers that I showed on screen before. As soon as you see them in this console on the right, you'll be able to get to your hiding spot as fast as you can, especially on your locker list runs, or if you're trying to do TBS with a team and you really don't want to rely on your ears or the death mode, you can just simply use the developer console and get information much faster. But with that being said, guys, good luck on your future pressure runs. I hope this developer console method helps, and see ya. 